Welcome to the Nebo Ridge Trail, Hoosier National Forest. There's a map. This is a um, horses and bikes have to pay. What else? No amenities, no camping. Sign back over on that board back there says no camping. But if I've actually walked this, sorry about that, I've walked, you're down here or you're up here, one of the two, I'm not sure where we're at, but I'm camped over here and I've walked to where we are now, one of these guys, <laughs> and I'm going to do a uh, little video heading back. Just in case anyone's curious what's out here. The trail starts out low, a little marshy. You can hear all the bugs in the background, I would imagine. Continues this way for a little while before it goes up. To follow the ridge. I stopped and let a uh, bicycler go by. You know, all the power in the world to them. Cheer them on. I don't think I could take a bicycle up these trails. But we moved up a little. You can see a little kind of valley down in there, or whatever you want to call it, ravine. And we'll keep heading forward. You can see the trail heading up. This is a ridge trail. Once it gets up to elevation, pretty much follows the ridge. Of course, as ridges go, so the trail goes. Ridge goes up, trail goes up. Ridge goes down, trail goes down. It's not a bad walk though. I would say this trail is 80 to 90 percent shade. So it's not, uh, not a super hot walk. You're not getting baked in the sun. Of course, the shady areas are nice for bugs. They thrive in that. There are a few little ponds here and there and uh, so bug spray is uh, no, I mean nothing's mandatory but it would make your walk much more pleasant. Have some boundary markings here. It is a bearing tree. That is a bearing tree. 
This is a bearing tree. If you're interested in trees and their bearings, these are bearing trees. There are a few squishy spots. Sky up there somewhere. There's a side trail. It says no horses and no bikes. I don't know where it goes, but we shall stay on the main trail because that takes us where we need to go. There are a few trees here and there, just waiting for the unlucky person to be underneath them when they fall. It shall not be me today. Here you kind of look down, down the ridge. Don't know how well this shows on video, but looking down the ridge. And then we can across the other side. The sun is up here, we've got about two hours of daylight left. And you're looking down this slope on the other side. Going up. Another sign in a split. This Combs Road this way, but nothing shows up on the map, my map, anyways. So we're going to continue our trek. But it never quite opens up for like a view. Like you might see on some ridges, it'll open up and you have a long distance view. If this opens up anywhere, I haven't seen it. In these areas where it looks like it might start opening up and you might get a view, but then it just doesn't, uh, doesn't materialize. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want you to think I'm complaining. I am not. This is a very nice, calm, relaxing nature hike. You've got a turtle, frog, angry, some angry birds, some angry squirrels. I've heard three or four deer run off in the woods. They have bigger ears than me, so they hear me before I get to them, and they take off. So don't really get any pictures of them out here. They're too too quick, and the woods gets thick real fast.
roadside water park to jump right in. The mosquitoes, I mean the malaria, I mean the water's nice. the trail. It does continue on. It meets this road here. And there's campsites and whatnot here. And the trail wraps around and goes behind campsites. And I'm not going to film back there. I'll just leave you with this view right here. And I'll see you on the next trip.